morning students this video is the continuation of uh, my previous video on projection of planes so in this video we will solve uh, these three following the problems on projection of planes when the plane is inclined to any one of the planes either vertical or inclined plane so we will take the uh, first problem an hexagonal plate of size 30 mm is placed with a side on vp and a surface inclined at 45 degree to vp and perpendicular to HP, draw its projection. Okay. So now according to this question, the uh, plane is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So you, according to this question, you will get the true shape when the uh, on the front view. So according to this question, first whenever you are drawing a projection of planes, first thing is we have to identify on which plane you will get the true view, okay, true shape of the object, of the given object. So now the uh, object is perpendicular to HP. So that means you will get this, uh, you will get the true shape on the vertical plane. That means when you see from the front, you will get the true shape of the object. So, so the another one is they are given the, it is placed with a side on VP. So go to the AutoCAD software. So type uh, first three basic settings, type units. Set in millimeters, then limits 0, 0, 420, 297, and then zoom all. So, first step is you have to draw one reference line, press F8 to get a straight line. So, I'm going to draw it for some random length 400 mm. Okay, then using the text command. Mark the uh, give the name for this reference line which is XY. Above the line it is VP. So below the line HP. Now in the question they have given the shape they have given is hexagonal plate. It is placed with a side on VP. So now uh, using this polygon option, type polygon, enter and it will ask you to enter the number of sides you give six. So select H method, there are two methods to draw a polygon, one is center of polygon. If you select center of polygon, then you have to uh, specify the radius of the circle that is uh, circumscribed or inscribed in a polygon. So here we don't know the radius, they are given the side of the uh, length of a side. Okay. So select H method and start here. So uh, now you have to specify the length of this side uh, which is 30 mm so type 30 so now you got the x again so if it is too far from this reference line what do you do select this one click on the move option select this one as a base point just move and keep it close to the reference So once you got the hexagon, so I, I have drawn the hexagon uh, with this base sides perpendicular to the reference line because in the question they have given it is resting on one of its sides. So then you have to draw the polygon, uh, draw this hexagon in this manner. If it in the if in the question it, they have given uh, the polygon is this hexagon is resting on one of its corner, then you have to select. Uh, so in the question if it is given this uh, the hexagon is lying on one of its corner then uh, you have to draw the hexagon uh, in this way okay. so you have to draw the hexagon in this way so you have to be uh, read the question carefully so in which way you have to position the hexagon so in the question it is uh, given that the hexagon that the plate is hexagonal plate is lying on one of its sides so i have drawn the polygon in this manner now using the text command uh, name all the corners of this polygon of this hexagon giving it as a 
So I will use small letters. Now, this is a front view to get the top view. So project from the project a vertical line from all the corners of the X second up to this reference line. Since in the question they are given the one of its side is resting on the uh, plane, resting on a plane. So we have to draw this projection uh, line up to this reference line from the corners of this X second. So once you projected a line from all the corners, then take the line option and you have to connect from corners to corners. Okay. So start from here, we'll go up to this and again start a new line from this point and go up to this point. Okay, don't put a single line connecting for uh, endpoint of this projected line to this endpoint of this. Don't do that. You have to connect uh, uh, the projected lines end to end each projected line end to end okay, based on the corners so then put the name so if it is a dash if you, uh, if you mention a dash over the alphabet then it, ref uh, it refers to a top view so now this A is the hidden corners when you see from the top okay. so put F outside the bracket A dash within the bracket now put F dash. Okay. Similarly, this V dash is the hidden view. Okay, to differentiate this line okay, from this projected lines, uh, you can either increase the uh, thickness of the line or else you can change the color of the line also. So increase the thickness as well as the color so that you can differentiate this line from this reference line as well as the projected line. So now we will go back to this question of uh, check what inclination and which with respect to which plane it is inclined. Okay, the surface is inclined at 45 degree to HVP. Okay, they have given the inclination is 45 degree to VP. Then you have to mark that inclination on HP. Okay. So select all this. Select the line that is the line which corresponds to the top view, and also select all the alphabets. Click copy command. And select this one as a base point and move to the right and place it at some distance okay uh, you should place this line in such a way that it should not intersect with the original line I'm going to place like this so before this I'm using this point option this point option so I will mark this corner on the top view all the corners on the top view So that it is easy for me to identify when I copy and move it to when I translate to for some distance. Select all the corners along with this alphabets, copy, start from here, then move to the right. Press okay, once you move this line, now you have to rotate this line by 45 degree. Select the line as well as the alphabets, and you have to rotate it by uh, 45 degree. Click rotate, rotate about this corner F and A. Select so I have to rotate in this direction. So type I have to rotate 45 degree in the clockwise direction. So type 45. So if it is going in the anti-clockwise direction, 
plus control EZ, come back to its original position, click rotate over this point, give minus 45. So now you can check whether this angle is 45 or not. Select this angular dimension. Select this angular dimension. Select this line and this line. So now it is 45 degree. And now take line and project vertical line from all the corners from the rotated line. Again it is a random distance. You have to extend the line in such a way that the, uh, the end point of the line should come after this corner E. Okay. The end point of this vertical line which I projected should come after the uh, this corner E, the topmost corner of this hexagon. Okay, now take line, we have to project from corners of the front view. Next, then we have to mark the corners on the intersection. So first take, uh, start from A, this, uh, this line is corresponds to A and also uh, find out the uh, A line from the top view. Okay, this is, these two line intersect here. So this is A, point A, Oops, control V, you take it as A1, take this A1, next B1. This is going to be B1. Next C1. C1. B1. 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 So once you marked all the corners, now Take a line, start from A, A to B, B to C, C to D, C to E, F, connect all the corners and then to differentiate it, select the lines, increase the line thickness and also change the color. Now this is the projected. Uh, uh, front view of this given uh, hexagonal plate and this is the top view. So now give the dimensions, go to linear and uh, give the side of this, this hexagon is 30 mm and then at the bottom I have to write all dimensions are in mm. So this is the uh, projected top and front view of this hexagonal plate. Now after uh, completing the drawing, you convert it into a PDF. So go to this plot, select this Microsoft print of PDF, select A4 size, click what to display, click on the window. Just select the things which you want to take print out. I'm selecting up to this. Now center the plot, landscape, check the preview. Close. Click OK. And save it. Injection of planes. Hexagonal plate. So 
so i will uh, attach this uh, pdf in my website i will share the link in the description box uh, to my website you can go to my website and you can download this pdf if you want okay. thank you